Welcome back to the channel everybody. So how, as we go into this video series on developing emotional state mastery, the first step of really developing that is learning how to go in and out of states at will. And when you do that, the first thing that you have to learn is uh, state elicitation. How do you elicit an emotional response in your body? How do you uh, go into a certain state? We call that elicitation. And there are gonna be four ways that you elicit a state. Okay, real quick, real simple. The first one is physiology. Every state, every emotion, positive or negative, has a corresponding physiology in the body. So, uh, every state, by the way. So when you can learn, memorize what that physiology is, and then adopt the physiology of the state that you want to have, uh, you will go into the state. Uh, the second thing is there are ways that you can use your mind to go into the state. And the way this is most commonly taught in NLP trainings is remember a time when. So you remember a time when you had an experience of that state. And the key to that one is really being able to remember a time where it was a peak state, a very powerful moment of that, right? The third thing is to uh, model the state. So in NLP, Neuro Linguistic Programming, we have something called modeling. And what you can do is you can actually model the state of somebody else. And I'll go deeper into how to do that. Lastly, the fourth thing is um, state creation and state design. You can design states that up until now have not been uh, accessible to your nervous system. So really keeping it simple here, we're gonna start with each, we're gonna go into each one of those and learn how to enter into states with our physiology. Then we're gonna learn how to do it with a remembered memory and experience. And then we're gonna learn how to uh, model a state from somebody else. And lastly, how to create a state. And it's a lot easier than you might think. So step one in developing emotional state mastery is learning to elicit states. Step two is learning how to attach a trigger to them or an anchor, as we call it in neurolinguistic programming. The anchor allows you to get it back, to do whatever you want to do with it. And then uh, the third thing that we got to do is we got to use the anchor appropriately. And so uh, many people who come out of neurolinguistic programming trainings, they kind of understand anchoring. Well, keep watching. This is going to help you develop the type of emotional mastery uh, that number one is automated so that you automatically go into the states that you want to at the times and places. Or if you're a coach or you're a speaker or a presenter, um, this will also develop, help you develop the type of emotional mastery that allows you to go into any state at will. So for uh, communicational, uh, professional communicators, your ability to go into a state uh, is the ability to influence, to guide your audience into that state. So stay tuned. We're starting very basic, very simple here. But after the next four videos or so, things are going to start to ramp up very quickly. And we'll even go through things like spinning feelings, if you're familiar with NHR and DHE as well. We'll cover uh, everything in my repertoire of uh, state control and uh, you'll have access to the full understanding of how you can use neuro-linguistic programming to have a better state. See you soon.